thing is you make a diagnosis of systemic mastocytosis. The easiest way to do that is with a bone marrow exam. Uh, but any, you know, liver biopsy, uh, uh, GI biopsy, it's just the definition of systemic mastocytosis. It, mastocytosis is different from cutaneous, right? Cutaneous meaning skin only, systemic meaning also in the bone marrow or also in an organ. And the easiest one is a bone marrow. So these, the, the referral pattern is usually to hematology. And then patients are divided into three broad categories, indolent, smoldering, or advanced. And, and for indolent and smoldering, there's no FDA approved cytoreductive therapy or chemotherapy, if you will. And so the support is, the, the therapy, I'm sorry, the therapy is supportive. And what I mean by that is uh, patients should always have an EpiPen uh, because if they get an allergic reaction, you don't wanna be home without one. But then we usually use antihistamines, H1 blockers, H2 blockers, and just increase the amount of, uh, uh, of allergy medicines, uh, leukotriene uh, 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 antagonists like uh, Montelukast or uh, uh, I, uh, IG, uh, IgE uh, inhibitors like uh, uh, Zolaire or chromalin to mast cell stabilize the gut, depending on where the patient has a symptom. Some patients require some corticosteroids like prednisone. So you just, you start low and you go high to try and minimize some of the symptoms. Patients with advanced disease are having organ damage. And so you really need to get rid of the mast cells. And so you can get rid of the mast cells by uh, one of several ways, uh, either chemotherapy, cladribine is a drug that we often use. It's real chemo. Interferon can sometimes suppress it. Now, these are drugs that are often used for other cancers or other diseases, but they do work in mastocytosis. Mitostorin is the first FDA approved drug for mastocytosis. It's a pan kinase inhibitor the KIT genes driving it. So if you inhibit the KIT gene, you can reduce the amount of mast cells and that's a great drug. Uh, and then there's a new drug, avapritinib, which is a little bit more selective for the mutant form of KIT uh, targeting the disease that's present in about 95% of cells. So it's either a KIT inhibitor, mitostorin, avapritinib, chemotherapy, or uh, interferon for the advanced. And then all patients it's supportive care with a myriad of antihistamines and other supportive care agents. Thank you.